what's going on the three people of you that are here right now um and i guess we'll, we'll wait for youtube to alert every single body else that they're here what's going on veronica thank you for being here first she said sub fools <laughs> i'm in france how you doing v i think we got tommy back here right now let's see if this is better say something can you hear me tommy <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. I don't know. I mean, I think okay. everything. I, I, I think you sound pretty good now. It's a lot better than than uh, than oh, Okay, all right. You're, you're cool. not you're not frozen anymore. <laughs> all right. cool. Cool. So, how you doing, Mile High Hustlers? How you doing, Misha Renee? So Veronica, I'm waiting for uh, YouTube to alert everybody that you're here before the guests do the proper intros. All right. But Mr. Tom, well, okay, wow, he just got eight people coming in at once. Okay, <laughs> so what's going on, Aaron? What's going on, uh, Chris? What's going on, Carissa? What's going on, Nikki? What's going on, Char? Welcome to all of you. Look, we went from four to 15 in two seconds. This is the power of Tommy Griffin right here. <laughs> before, before it was just me, it was three people. <laughs> what's going on, MD Picker? I met you on Instagram recently. We just became a mod. Welcome. My Ohio also became a mod. Okay, so so Tommy. Yes, sir. Hello, hello Pearl. Uh, tell the people, in case they don't know, who you are. Okay, so um, I am a uh, part-time reseller. i uh, been reselling now for, see, I started in October uh, 2017. So I'm, I'm going on four years. I'm three, well, over three and a half years reselling. I'm also a full-time fellow employee. I work for the uh, General Services Administration and also retired military. So I have a YouTube channel, uh, almost, well, I was close to 10,000 uh, <laughs> subscribers. And then uh, e I mean, uh, YouTube kind of knocked me down a peg or two. So they took away about 500 subs. Uh, which a, a, a peg or two or five. Yeah, five yeah, hundred. Yeah, I, can't, I can't let that go. Uh, but yeah, uh, glad to be here uh, today on the Philly Flipper Show. Awesome. Shoot. Did I freeze? You froze it at the end, but yeah, you did, but, but you're back again. Okay. You're always so good on your Friday show. I don't know why you're airing that I'm on in, Saturday. Well, actually, <laughs> Friday I'm at the house, but today I'm at uh, the warehouse. But I got it uh, directly plugged into the laptop, uh, man, so I don't know. We should, we should be good, right? <laughs> right, should be. So um, I already know the answer to this, but I'm probably some people in the chat don't. Why the name Buffalo Picker? Uh, Buffalo Picker uh, came from... Um, you know, the uh, Buffalo Soldiers, uh, black uh, military group uh, from the 1800s that uh, that was um, a part of the United States Army. And being that I was a retired military, I was searching for, for a name and I actually went to a estate sale. And this guy, he was getting ready to move from Georgia to Florida because he was retiring from Budweiser. He had this nice big, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So he had this nice big Buffalo soldier uh, photo in his house. And uh, I came home, I did some research on it because I just thought it was a regular painting. But actually, it was the a painting of the, the last living Buffalo soldier. Uh, uh -huh. of, and he died in, I think, it was 2005. So once I did the research and figured out that I, for, for one, I, has you know so it just done on me like buffalo you know military military okay i'm gonna be buffalo pick you know? love it and, I, that's, that's awesome. and uh so how long have you had your youtube channel and what encouraged uh, you to start one okay so i started youtube in uh uh january of 20 uh 21 no, no, I'm sorry. January of 2020. Oh, um, okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> 2021, yeah, just a couple of yeah, months. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, 2021. Yeah. 
20, 2020, right? <laughs> yeah, 2020. Or 2019. You could be it's definitely yeah. not 2021. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was my son <laughs> trying to get me <laughs> straight, man. No, it was uh, and, uh it was January 2020. I started YouTube and I was just like uh most of the people that I was learning the YouTube game from and kind of got bits and pieces of the blueprint of how I want to run my uh resale game. I was like, you know what, I have something to offer as well. But I'm not trying to charge people for it. I'm not trying to to have an ebook. So I just like once I opened up my channel, I was just explaining to people that you know the few people that was watching at the time is that you know want to be transparent with the resale game. So you know if you commit to my channel, uh, you will start getting the information that you that you are seeing people charging for, and I'm going to be giving that information for free. And which I did uh, for a while until I got into the warehouse. Once I got into the warehouse, I had to slow down on making the videos. And I think uh, with me slowing down on the videos kind of uh, made me take a hit on uh, YouTube as well. Because I was on like the when you slow down. Say again? YouTube doesn't like when you slow down. That's, 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 that's not how it's not YouTube's game right there. They want you to yeah, be constant man, all the time. January <laughs> of 2020. And by July of 2020, I was already uh, monetized. I had over 4,000 wow. hours, and I had uh, close to 3,000 uh, subscribers. Dang. So I was, I was pushing it, man. I was pushing it. And plus, well, you know, the community helped as well. People in the community uh, helped me with the uh, watch time. For sure. Right. What's going on, Steve? Thank you for being here. Mile High said, thank you for your service, Tommy. Appreciate it. Horizon you. says, sure. do the shirt is dope. Yeah, I got the shirt from Roy's auction last week. Pretty pretty good Marvel shirt. That's not a good thing about these uh, online communities. You get some auctions. You get some pretty good deals you can get. Michael right. is here. I do in the coma finds. Let's see. I saw all the people come in. Maria in real life is here. Says, hi, Philly. Hi, Buffalo. How you doing, Maria? Glamour's Closet is here. How you doing? Dollar Duck Jennifer is here. Joey bought a Bing 22s in the house. How you doing, Joey? <laughs> Derek's in the house. The ATO flipper. He was on Tommy's show ATL. yesterday. Dropping some knowledge. Harry Humstone's here. How you doing, Harry? Pam is here. Um, if I missed you guys, I'm sorry. The chat's flying. But <laughs> Dana said that those are some crazy YouTube growth numbers. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, to go from from one to three from zero to three thousand in like six months. That's pretty pretty good. Right. How you doing, Roman? Uh, so um, we, before we get into that, first, I, uh, now you got a big enough crowd here. I want to just uh, personally thank you for giving me a platform because uh, I know for sure Chris, when he used to have a show, that Glass City right. show on Tuesday, right. he was the first person to ever give me a shot to come on and do a show like this. I think I had like 112 subscribers <laughs> back then. Or like, oh, this was like yeah. way back last year. Yeah. And, then this, and then this year, you were the first one to give me a platform as well. And because I was on your show... And other people found me, and I think that kind of snowballed the growth of my right. channel as well. Because right. I had like, I think, two hundred subs in January, right. and then I'm almost at seventeen hundred now. So, hey, man, so gotta I, get it, man. Yeah, I, I want to give you a definitely give you a shout out for that because that, that's why I like your Friday show more than some other Appreciate shows because you don't care, you don't care about the sub count as long as your guest is pretty interesting as a storyteller. You're gonna put them on your show, so like. You yeah. had me on when I had like no subs. Um, I remember a couple of weeks ago you had Resale Heroes. He had like 50 subs and you put him on. Right. So that's that's pretty dope. Right. Uh, so you want to talk more about your uh, Friday show, Defend the Hustle? How does that yeah. differ from the other YouTube shows? Yeah. Are... So so basically what I try to do on Fridays is uh, I know that's like the end of the week and people going into the week. Again, uh, is basically... It's most it's mostly like a informative type uh, motivation uh, show. So what I want to what I try to do is incorporate with letting people know what myself and the guests and then the uh, the Buffalo Picker team is doing have have accomplished during the week as a reseller, and try to talk about things that we're gonna accomplish during the weekend, and also try to encourage people, you know. Uh, you know, to ask questions so that we can give out the information. You know, my thing is, uh, I always tell people we're going to have a question and answer uh, sex, uh, session of the show 
you know, jot your questions down and shoot your questions. If you, you know, uh, I can only answer the question that is posed. You know, some of the information we'll pick a talking point and we'll talk about certain things that are uh, important to resellers. But at the same time, I mean, I have a lot of information that I can put out there, but I can only answer the question if the right, you know, I can only get an answer to the right question. You know, and a lot of times I think people, especially like new people, they kind of fall back in the shadows. And I have had people that have hit me up on Instagram with 16 questions. And I'm like, why do you just <laughs> ask the question in the show? Because I try to explain to them that the question that you ask in the show is not just for you. It's for everybody in the audience. And some people, you know, may have the same type question and you to kind of pull that out of the people. And then, you know, I got a lot of uh, resellers, seasonal resellers that are in the show. And I will tell you straight up, I don't know everything that goes with reselling. I only know what I have done and what I have came across. So one thing I tell myself in the team is that we're not going to shoot from the hip. If somebody poses a question and we don't know, then we got to be have the integrity to tell them, hey, we don't know, but we're going to find out. So when you come back on the show next week, we'll have an find the answer and shoot it to you on Instagram, but we're not going to get on the show and talk about things that we don't know. No, that, that's, that's totally understandable. And, and I respect that because a lot of, you also have like different guests too that, that deal, specialize in different things. You exactly. have someone exactly. who deal, like deals with Poshmark, someone's really good on FBA, someone's really good right. with eBay. So the questions are different every single week. Right. And not to mention starting last starting yesterday now you got buffaloes roaming around the show too, right? <laughs> yeah, man. That, was, <laughs> that was an experience. We've embraced it. You know, I was just like, you know, I, I knew that I wanted to do something uh for the super chat to, to say more than just thank you for the super chat. Uh and I seen, you know, that the uh uh, on Tuesday, I was on uh, the Nurse Flipper show, and I seen that she had a dolphin that come on and you know do the little skit for the super chat. So I was like, you know what? Let me find something with the buffaloes and bring them <laughs> in and see if I can you know make that work and see if it sticks. So I mean, you know, people embraced it. So we're gonna see how long we can run with it. Yeah, no, the, that's that's it. Like, I think every single person. Well, I, I have my own one too. I have Ella dancing for me. Save it first. So that, that that's that's my super chat. Uh, Ella dances and says thank you. So it's pretty cool to see everybody doing their own little thing. Right. Yeah, a shout out to Joey by the thing real quick. Joey used to be a full time mailman. Starting last week, he put out his last uh, last hour in. So he's a full time reseller now. So congrats okay. to Joey. Congratulations! Congratulations! Joey's coming on my show um, next Saturday, so it's gonna be fun to talk to him. Guys, if you have any any questions for uh oh gosh, see look, see I mentioned it. Here we go, Veronica. The two dollars. And speaking of super chats, we need to see some Ella. Uh, so, so, so here, here's my thing, Tommy. <laughs> super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, uh, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat. All right, <laughs> Ella. It's it's not it's not quite buffaloes, but it's it's pretty good. <laughs> Is Ella in the chat? Uh, Ella just had an auction on the other channel, so she's probably coming in. Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. <laughs> oh gosh, really funny. You see it? No, I, I'm, I'm very thank you so much, you for for your two dollars. It's just I know that a lot of times people start donating, and then the whole train starts, and I'm like, oh boy, here we go. It's going to derail the whole show. Then I feel bad for you guys for giving me your money, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much, me for two dollars. <laughs> That's the play, be playing on YouTube ads, okay. <laughs> What's going on? Um, you completed my July challenge. You already did 750 listings. That's pretty impressive. Um, so, so Tommy, you mainly sell on Amazon, right? I sell on Amazon, Walmart, and eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Now, if you do like percentage, what percentage of your sales come from each one of those? So, hey, right now, I'm probably a uh so just breaking it down into my inventory so i'm probably about 65 percent of my inventory is at amazon probably about um i would say 
twenty percent is on uh, is a mixture. Well, twenty five percent is a mixture between eBay and um, and uh, um, Amazon and uh, Facebook Marketplace. Okay. So, and I guess I guess I could say ten percent is e uh, uh, Facebook Marketplace. So. Okay. So so and now for Amazon and Walmart, that's FBA, right? Or or that or is that FBM for you? So so Amazon, I do FBA in uh merchant fulfill. And on Walmart, I do merchant fulfill. They do have a fulfillment center, but you got to qualify for that. You got to show your sales before they okay. can approve you for that. And um and that's pretty much what I do. So basically, I have one program that I use which is uh Salebrite. But I'm switching it over to um, um, Shopify. It's a program on Shopify called Multi Multi Channel Listing. I'm, I'm switching it over to that. I'm in the middle of that right now. That's kind of why I'm a little confused on my inventory. Is because I'm moving everything into that program, and then basically from there, I'm kind of moving it to the platform I want to sell on. So, um, so. And, and that's no no in that particular program has no effect on the uh, FBA listing because basically I'm still running things through uh, uh, when I get a sale on what either here at the warehouse or they are at the uh, FBA which is uh, Amazon and if I get a sale I just go in and order it from Amazon have it shipped to the customer it's it's just a kind of another form of drop shipping yeah it makes sense understand they have glamorous closet says okay i've got to see that again <laughs> thank you glamorous for the five dollar uh, five dollar super chat yep here you go here's more elephant super chat 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 and then speaking of ella ella just came in and says sorry i'm late i was at an auction Going on, Ella. And then Visa, I see you play Ella's clip and she appears. <laughs> That's pretty much what happens. Uh, so, uh, hello, Iris, to you as well. I know you just came in. Uh, I see if anyone else I missed. Nice D seller, how you doing? Welcome. Um, hey, I, so, uh, Mile High says, I do Walmart stuff, clearance on point in the toy aisle. You'll get your Christmas goodies and money makers now. Very true. I, I uh actually watch uh my uh videos. I I think I, I know how that is. It's kind of crazy with uh YouTube. You'll subscribe this week and then next week you won't be subscribed. <laughs> but yeah, I subscribed to their channel a couple of weeks ago, like the content that they put out. Um you, you want to share a couple of goodies behind you that you find at Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I'm an Amazon seller, man. I can't be sharing goodies like that. Man. These, goodies, these goodies, man. I share these goodies like uh three or four weeks from now. But no, nah, I mean no big deal, man. Uh if you uh, this item right here, uh, which is a DVD. Oh, uh, he's sharing it, guys. Look look free free info right here. Right. Free so, free info. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that tag. But um, at one point, Walmart was selling these for six to seven dollars, and now I got it on clearance for twenty-five. So these items right here, although I got them listed on FBM, if they don't sell within the next month or so, that'll be fine because these items will be a uh, Q4 uh, item to sell. So if you can see these, in, look for these at Walmart. <laughs> Actually, they go for twenty five dollars, or some are some. Um, I got a cut. I got two different versions. One version is twenty one dollars, and one version is twenty five dollars. But nevertheless, they sell for about sixty something dollars on um, Amazon and uh, Walmart uh, Marketplace. So, yeah, if you can find these, grab them, and they sell well on our eBay. And can you, mile, mile High says, I got those two, fam. They were like five bucks at our stores. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, yeah. hey, man. That, that, that's good, man. <laughs> this year, uh, I got them for 16 bucks, $16.95. Uh, matter of fact, I didn't get these from Walmart. I got these from uh, Target. And uh, during Q4, I'm going to hold these until Q4. 
and try to get the max value out of them. And uh, the normal price, the retail price on these is about sixty-seven dollars. So, dang. Okay. Have, you, have, you, you have a couple of stacks over there, I see. Yeah, yeah. man, I got about thirty <laughs> of those things, man. So, yeah, when I when I find a deal that I know that uh, can get me a nice return, man, I go I go deep with it. So, like, how often? When do you start like hoarding for Q four? Like, what, I start, what time? I start. I'm, I'm gonna do a video, hopefully next week. Uh, but I start. I start collecting things for for Q4 in January, man. Um, okay. I got a nice haul that I picked up from Gatons that was five bucks, all single digits, but they sell for sixty, seven, and eighty dollars uh, during the Q last Q4. So um, I'm expecting that. It won't be a lot of those items out there this year, so I should get a uh, top dollar for them. And I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna show them when I do the video. They actually in the warehouse right now on the tables. Oh, nice. LO wants to know what Q4 is. <laughs> the fourth quarter. <laughs> the fourth quarter of the year. So right now we just started the third quarter, right? June first was the third quarter. So right. that goes to September, I believe, right? Right. So that September starting to. The end of the right. year that's q4 so pretty Maybe much free. That, that is the big season for us that's when christmas happened that's when all the rest of the holidays happen so everybody does their shopping black friday is in, is inside q4 so it's right. a big big time a lot of resellers just wait for that quarter yeah so so if if you ever hear anybody talk about the super bowl for resellers <laughs> that's q4 that's q4 right. is <laughs> it's a time where q where all resellers and i'm saying not just the big time resellers, but every reseller that knows about Q4, that is the Super Bowl time. You're trying to maximize your profits on everything that you have in your inventory. So, uh, yes, yeah, that's money time, go time. <laughs> yeah, and people stock up for Q4 starting as early as Tommy does. And not not even just like supplies, stocking up in the extra boxes, bubble wrap. Holly mailers has got to be ready because there could be some crazy days where you sell so much stuff. You got to be prepared for it to happen. Let me Especially let me uh, get, yeah let, sorry, me, let me grab one of these items and show you why uh, what I'm talking about. Kind of give yeah. you an example of an item that I picked up in January. Right. So give me like twenty seconds. No no problem. I'll talk to the chat real quick. We got Dante's here. What's going on, Dante? <laughs> Big fan. Big fan of your content. <laughs> Thank you, Dante. Appreciate you. Uh, <laughs> I think Joey meant to say Dante, but he said donate. So, yeah, if you guys want to donate to me, go ahead. Uh, Joey says to donate. <laughs> uh, Mile High, ask him about the routers when he comes back. Um, you're welcome. Uh, we'll yep, when you pay us to make Texas <laughs> next quarter. If you want to the Bible today. Okay, Roman, that's crazy. That's not good. Congrats on the one kid. Yeah, congrats on winning the thing. <laughs> My grandkids want to see a space jam, but the first comic is worth a lot of money now. True. What's going on, Shonda Davis? Welcome. Here's the Q, Q breakdown right here. All right. Are you, you ready, Tommy? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. So this item right here, this is a uh, Pokemon uh, holiday Ooh. calendar. I picked this up from uh, GameStop, and uh, when I comp this item, I picked it up from GameStop for five dollars. And when I comp this item at the time in January, it was still forty nine dollars. So uh, GameStop was selling it for thirty nine ninety nine, but online on Amazon it was forty nine. So five dollar item, and I'm I'm expecting this item right here. If they don't push any out this year. I probably can get the upwards of uh, 65, 70 bucks for it. Wow. And this is another one, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And I got Same this thing. also for five bucks from um, GameStop. And uh, I, I forgot what I comped it for, but the, I know that the, the uh, return on investment was pretty good. So if they don't push this out this year, I should get a nice return on it as well. Um, but yeah, these are the type of items. I've probably got about 15 of these. And 30 of these. 
So wow. this is the kind of stuff you want to look for right after, uh, you know, January time frame. A lot of people say after Christmas sale, but I mean, for the last couple of years, I really haven't had as much luck during the after Christmas sale, like I have had in January. January, February, it was a little <laughs> different this year because of COVID, but still I had some good luck. Yeah. Dante coming with the $5 super chat. Is that please subscribe? <laughs> yes. <laughs> subscribe to Tommy, subscribe to Dante, subscribe to me. All right, here, here's a little more Ella for you guys. Super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, super chat, uh, super chat, super chat, super chat. Super chat, super chat, super chat. Oh boy. <laughs> and you got reaching success. It says new to this network, but been selling hustling for years. Ran to Bama and he put me on the game seven minutes link. Well, appreciate you being here, Reaching. Bama's coming on in 30 minutes. Appreciate you uh being here. Char likes your uh, your calendars. That's, that's that's pretty it's pretty dope. Appreciate it, Char. Hello, Chris Lyons. It's a new name for me. Welcome. Good to see you. If you got wow, the chat just jumped. If you guys have any questions for Tommy, let me know. Well, I'd love to uh, ask him everything you guys have because I don't want you guys to be on my Instagram tomorrow and say, Hey, I want you to ask Tommy this. <laughs> so, yeah, if you got yeah, any questions, you got any questions, yeah, shoot them out. <laughs> ask him right now. Um, so how long have you had your, your warehouse for now? Oh, uh, I got in the warehouse in February of this year, and um, I have had two uh sales here so far. Which is uh, my last sale I had was in June, and that's it for the year. So I'm gonna um, right now I'm in the process of uh, setting it up for Q4, and uh, as you can see behind me, I'm I got my mannequins and all that stuff. So I'm getting it all set up for Q4, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to keep it that way. Uh, eventually, I want to move into a, either a bigger uh, warehouse or get a second warehouse and just push pallets. Wow. And so how how much do you have now? How many square feet? Uh, this is 2,500 square foot. And how, how much do you need to push the pallets around? Uh, I probably need about 4,000 square foot. Mm. Now, do you have like access to like a loading dock and stuff? And for your uh, access? Uh, I just got the uh, big roll, roll up door. Uh, but I mean, I'm right across the street from the leasing office and they have a, anytime I have a truck bring in pallets, uh they they'll bring the fault lift over and offload the truck i got a pallet jack so once i get them inside of the building i can put them where i want but uh they charge nothing to offload the truck so it's it's a good deal oh yeah for sure right and some names coming in here and from the flip is here dark county picker is here how you doing so angie was here with dayton valley and we got the legend showed up <laughs> jennifer hayes is in the chat hello jennifer, jennifer. hayes Jennifer, the legend, dropping links. She doesn't say hello. Her first, her first comment is just your link right away. She doesn't mess around. <laughs> That's my girl, man. That's my yeah. girl, Jennifer. Je yeah. Jen's a legend. So yeah. Mile High asked about the routers. She says, "Did you score any good routers?" Yeah, I got routers. Um, man, on oh, my house, man. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> that, man. <laughs> So I got uh, six of these routers here, um, and this is the second wave. I got probably about ten on the first wave, but it was a different. Uh, it was a better uh, had a better strength on it. But this one here, I found these for uh, twelve bucks at our local Walmart, and I and I have six over here. So yeah, I got the routers, man. You trying to make me come out all my inventory? <laughs> He's giving out all your secrets, man. Right? <laughs> hey, yeah, these right here, and um, and I just throw this on out there because I mean, you know, I can't buy them all, and 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 I don't, you know, uh, it's enough out there for everybody. If you go into Walmart, if you go to uh, Brick Seek, the AX fifteen hundred. Uh, you yeah. should still find these in certain Walmarts. You know, it's it's a couple still in the Walmarts in my location, but they're just too far out, and I don't feel like traveling. So, in your location, you may be able to find these. Hmm. Interesting. D D Derek's wondering, what's your biggest flip? My biggest flip? Yes. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it was a uh, it was a, a theater camera set. 
that I received in a pallet. I, I got a liquidation pallet from Target. And the things was just sitting at the bottom of the pallet. And I took it out. I was like, man, this thing going to be broken. And it was still sealed. And I shaked it a little bit just to see if I hear anything rattle. And I didn't want to open it. The uh, item uh, on the manifest, based off of everything you know that I paid for on the manifest, uh, it was a total of probably $7.50 per item in that manifest. This thing sold, and I did a uh, video on it. It sold for like four thousand and some dollars. Dang. So, <laughs> right, it sold for about four thousand bucks. And uh, you see everybody leaving the show to go buy um, pallets now. <laughs> that was dope. Oh yeah, yeah. The pallet, I got, a, I got a. Uh, it was supposed to come in this week, but I got one coming in next week. Actually, two. And uh, I don't want to give out the name of the product, but. Uh, uh, I paid 53 cent per unit and they sell for about uh, $17 on uh, Amazon. Wow. And if you, if you uh, bundle them up, uh, like four or six, uh, the RI go up further. So uh, yeah, man, you wanna, if you can, if you can afford to get a pallet, buy you a pallet. I mean, yeah. and, and, and only advice I can give you on those pallets and you do what you want is try to get the new don't mess with the returns yeah. you know some people got good luck on returns i have had a little luck on returns but it's more of a headache than anything especially if you're not just a, now if you if you're a seller just strictly on ebay then yeah go ahead and get the returns but for it or amazon you don't want to mess with those returns it's just a headache Hey, do your research too, because a lot, a lot of companies have reviews out there. So just read the reviews, and you see right. which ones are good and which ones are bad. Right. Joey wants to know what is your favorite Walmart item in July. It's a very specific question. <laughs> uh, July is uh, Legos. Legos. There you go. Yeah, and uh, hey, you, you, all I'm gonna say is you better beat me to them because <laughs> they're getting ready to drop and. I'm giving this nugget out there, glass hit pickers. If y'all in the chat, man, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm telling you, uh, they already starting to drop in the um if you if you look for the hidden clearance, they're already starting to drop. So I figure, and, and I'm basing this off of last year, is that's when I cleaned up on Legos. Uh I was I, I probably had about five thousand dollars worth of Legos wow. in July last year. And the year that's before, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So, yeah. So, all right. So, so Dan wants to know at what point did you, you don't move look to the out for this question for both of you. For uh, for me, I moved into a warehouse after about my fifth storage unit. I buy storage units, so I, I I learned after the first four that it's gonna be almost impossible to do it for my house. I have to have a, a location. So it's either get a get another storage unit and pay for it, but get a smaller location, or go big right away, get a warehouse and go into it so that's what i did so i had a warehouse since september of 2019 what about you tom yeah so i moved in a warehouse in uh 2021 february of this year and uh what led to that was i, I outgrew my uh three-car garage uh and my wife was like you got to do something so um, <laughs> i ended up um i ended up just figuring out that you know i had the capital uh and my inventory was like you know just outgrowing the place you know i had uh in when my two-car garage i had uh 14 shelves in there and it was just crazy so i had to, i just had to get another place and that's what i did I, I i started planning uh back in uh september of 2020 and by february i was in this spot wow okay and same spot still, right? Since February? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Rishi Success wants to know, do you mostly do arbitrage? Because she sees or he sees some Nike boxes behind you. So if you want to know if you flip popular, they, 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 they don't they want to see what goodies, man. Hey man, look, man, I gave out I gave out some good stuff. I'm probably gonna get beat up. <laughs> Is he giving away too many free show too, too, man, too uh, much free? I, uh, most of those Nikes you see like can you hear me? Yeah. 
Yeah, most of the Nikes you see back there is from um, either a outlet, Nike outlet, or the Nike clearance store. Um, I do uh, retail arbitrage. That's mostly what I do. I say probably 80% of my sourcing is retail arbitrage, and another 20% would be liquidation. So Infinite Flip is from Atlanta as well, right? Isn't that United the Woods? Oh, ATL, ATL Flipper, you're right. No, yeah. yeah, but Infinite Flip just stole him the he's in. And so here you go. Don't be giving away too many secrets. Infinite Flip might, might steal him and go hey, to your Walmart hey, before. It's, it's enough for everybody, man. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's fifty plus WalMarts around here. Dang, what's going on, Marcus Dixon? Dickens in the house. How you doing? So yeah, uh, dancers return palette sucks. I agree because a lot of times they return for a reason. Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. uh, unless you want to sell things for parts, or you think you can fix them or something, but it's um, it's too much of a headache for me. I don't buy return pallets either. Right. I, I, I just don't mess with it. That's what uh, led me for my second sale was to to just you know get rid of returns that I had picked up. John said, what's up, everyone? John's coming on in, in a couple of minutes. He's in the back room getting his hair and makeup done. He's going to be coming <laughs> on pretty soon. <laughs> I found some cool Legos to Christmas. I haven't dropped in the stores for two of my special buddies. Okay. Nice. I love to see how people just all saying stuff to each other. Oh, yeah, we got yeah, Jeff in the chat. E eBay, eBay addicts in the chat. Is all in one package calling you? Is all in one package disturbing my, 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 my interview right now? <laughs> Again, it's all in one package. No, this no, that was uh, Glass City, man. Oh, got them Legos. <laughs> uh, Chris is calling you in the middle of my show. Yeah, <laughs> Chris, get out of here, man. Go, go play some Madden or something. <laughs> exactly. Nikki says I need a warehouse. We all. Uh, I remember when I was on your show. Wow, wow, I remember February, I think. Right. Um, you said you're thinking about getting an employee. Did you get one yet, or are you still thinking about it? Man, uh, it's hard to find. You know, I'm not going to say people don't want to work, but it's just hard to find uh, somebody that I can employ right now because um, I can't afford to pay over 15 bucks uh, an hour. And when I started out at 10, I didn't get no hits back. I put it up to 12, no hits, and then I put it up to 15. I got three people that were interested, but when it was time to do the interview, they never showed up. Um, that's 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 pretty pretty accurate. Yeah. There here's Chris right here I'm in the chat now. This is Chris can be disrupting my chat. <laughs> What's going on, Chris? So, so are you so you're still in the process of finding one, or are you just gonna move on with that one? Uh, well, right now, I'm just uh, my brother who is a reseller, Purple Heart Picker. Uh, he helped me out when he can, and my son. So we're going to just try to do it. Uh, hopefully, it can get through to Q4 this year. And then next year, I'll just readjust and see if I can get somebody in here to work. Because really, um, with the information that last night that he that he got from you uh, about the uh, hammock, uh, I think I'm going to look into that. Because if I can get that going it may help me out as far as not really being pressed to get a, a, a full-time employee in here. That, that That's pretty much what I substituted with. I don't have anybody listening for me right now. I, right. I do it all right. through. Uh, I do I do it for myself or that I go through, through Hammock for the rest of it. Right. Yeah, if you got any questions about it, just message me after the show because I know Ella hates it when we talk about Hammock on my show. <laughs> 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 Roma said try 16. Instead of 15, I would try 16. Yeah. <laughs> The, the yeah, Chris I said, say, uh, I definitely said, reach out when I'm ready to make have, a move. You can afford 24 an hour. That's what Chris just said. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> hey, it ain't about what you can afford, it's about what you want to pay, man. <laughs> we got yeah. Pam. Pam is here. How you doing? And flipping crazy. First time kitchen. Welcome, flipping crazy. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Still got 30 plus in the chat. Awesome to see. Maybe do a paper listing. That's kind of what hammock is. So that's the benefit of it. Uh, here's Ella. So we can't we can't use the hammock board anymore. Ella's back. <laughs> Ella, we didn't say anything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so have you been like in the Atlanta area your whole life, or you've been moving around the country? Uh, 
you kind of, I guess we one of us froze. Probably, probably me. Okay, uh, can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. So, do you been like in the Atlanta area uh, your whole life, or you've been moving around the country? Uh, no, I, you know, I'm um, I'm prior military, so I I've been uh, I've been everywhere pretty much, and uh, this was my last duty station. Even though Georgia is my home, but I was able to get stationed here in Atlanta for my last duty station. So once I got here, I just kind of homestead and, um, you know, found me a good job with the federal government. So, you know, I, I don't I don't see myself going anywhere from Atlanta, not not permanently. But uh, for as traveling and sourcing and stuff like that, you know, I travel. I get outside of Atlanta for sure. Um, and anywhere I go, it, it may be a vacation or a business trip. Uh, but I'm gonna do some song. Awesome. You sound like a reseller when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Hey. Hey, oh, was, every me. reseller is like, "Hey, if I'm going on vacation, I want to pay for my trip. I'm, I'm gonna go thrift. I'm gonna find something. You know, it's gonna, right. gonna help me pay for it." Right, right. I mean, Shows and goods. I learned that from my uh, CPA. Like, <laughs> you go out there, you know, turn that turn that vacation into a business trip, go sourcing right. and be able to put that on your books so that uh, you can write that whole trip off. So chosen goods with the $5 super chat. Thank you so much. Carissa said, hit the like button. Y'all that was a very expensive hit the button. You could have just, could have just, could have just type that in Carissa, but I appreciate you giving me $5. Here's more Ella for you. Super chat, 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 super chat. Super chat, super chat, super chat. Thank you so much, Carissa. Appreciate it. Uh, Glamour's Claus wants to know what kind of branch of service were you in? I was in the Army. 35 Lima, if you want to look that up. <laughs> if you got to do, if I do the background yeah. check on Tommy to make sure you were yeah. there. <laughs> well, look that up. You can, you definitely know what I did uh, for the military. I just can't talk about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to get shot down, apparently. <laughs> Roman said he subbed to you. That's awesome. Thank you, Roman. I appreciate, I appreciate it. That. Appreciate it. Definitely going to return it. Okay. Jeff wants to know if you're planning to go as a full-time reseller. Uh, Jeff, man, it's a hard, hard question right now. I know that um, I have said in the past that I wanted to go full-time by next year of uh, the summer next year, but um, – you know, I work for the job that I do for the military. I mean, for the federal government is not a hard job. Uh, mentally, it's not a hard job. And um, it's hard to walk away uh, from uh, eight or some thousand dollars a year, man. It's just, I just, I, I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta give it a little bit more time before I walk away from it, man. I think it, the benefits are pretty good, too, right? Oh, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. It makes yeah. sense. It was a lot easier for me to walk away from lifting couches my whole life <laughs> <laughs> than that. So yeah, I man. Thought. I do pretty much. Basically, the hardest thing I do is uh, keystroke, man. So it's it's it's, it's hard it's to walk awesome. away from that 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 yeah. price, man. Right now, right now. Yeah, I I, I I totally get it. So does um your uh, side hustle is it making equal or as much money more. as your full time job? It's making more. more. More, yeah. It must be nice though. You can say, "Hey, my yeah, side yeah, hustle." Like, uh, <laughs> and, and to keep it in perspective, man, it's it's uh, a little more than double what I make on wow. that job, but it's still, you know, it's just too much to walk away from right now. No, I, I, I totally understand. Jen's closet, Jen's in the house. She should just yell, "Tommy!" She doesn't care that I'm here. But she wants to say hi to you. <laughs> Welcome, Jen. Did I freeze? You, you've been freezing the whole show, but I'm trying to oh, ignore man, it. I'm sorry, man. I'm in the warehouse, man. I don't, I don't, I don't know because I got it directly plugged into the laptop. So uh, it, it's all good. You're like about ninety percent good, then you freeze for like three, four seconds. Oh, okay, good. okay. Hey, so what's going on, Jan? Appreciate you coming out. It's better than uh, when Ella was on your show and she was freezing every second. Oh, so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got to get Ella back too. <laughs> Ella, I need you to come back next month, Ella. Yeah, that, that was my first time ever seeing Ella. 
was on your show. That's that's just the first time. So I would, like, <laughs> make fun of her the whole like like the whole month afterwards for it. <laughs> so the crazy wants to know where in Atlanta are you? They're about twenty minutes from the west of the city in Cobb Cobb County. Um, okay, I'm I'm in the uh, Fayette County, so I'm a little south, uh, eighty five south. Thank you for your service, Buffalo. Yes, appreciate you. But he got paid in some for both trips. There we go. See, Milo High knows the hustle. You got to go thrift and pay for your trip. Um, I, I saw um, recently you had a warehouse sale, right? Was it last month or the month before? I think it was last month. What? Right? Well, what happened? I, I froze again, I guess. <laughs> it said you recently started doing warehouse sales, right? Was that last month that you, did you yeah, started? Yeah, last month, last month was the actual last uh, warehouse sale because, again, I got in some more returns that uh, I just didn't want to deal with trying to sell them on uh, eBay. Mm -hmm. And I just had a, a open warehouse sale and, and it did well. I had uh, a couple of brothers uh, that came in here, well, not a flock, and they pretty much bought me out of everything I had left over from the sale. Wow. Uh, with, they spent about 4,000 and some bucks to, to buy everything I had left over. <laughs> So That's it was pretty good. good. Yeah, it was good, <laughs> man. I felt good that day. Yeah. So how much did you make total the whole weekend? Uh the whole weekend or about seven, a little over seven thousand. Dang. Okay. Right. You planning on having those in the future or no, no I don't wanna I don't that ain't what I want to do, man. I was just doing that to move inventory. Uh basically what I want to do, and I can just kind of give you a, a nutshell based my, my plans for this particular uh facility is i just want to set it up to do walmart amazon ebay and facebook marketplace sales out of here and eventually if i can't get into a bigger space try to at least another space where i can just run straight pallets out of you Makes know so. we just says tommy you flip it out if we need to be upgrading routers <laughs> Oh, <laughs> hey man, this uh, this supposed to be one of the best, man. Uh, Xfinity. <laughs> then Roman said, "Tommy, you need to got connect to the internet." <laughs> I don't know, man. You got they, from they, Walmart. <laughs> they may got me uh, hooked up with a bad connection, but I'm paying them a <laughs> premium price. Oh, uh, uh, Jed said, Tom, you need Ella and Kevin together and plan for an extra long show. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a five hour show, and Tom is not going to get one word in. <laughs> the, that, that's going to be a fun one right there. Uh, so, Pam wants to know you have any additional hobbies? Cooking is there. I don't have time for it. I used to be, <laughs> um, I used to play video games as a like kind of get away, you know, calm down type uh, thing. But now my whole focus when I do have free time, except for when I have playing time with my family is reselling. Uh, and and I think you got to have that type of mindset if you want to expand your business and make it grow. If you're just doing a side hustle, then yeah, you can have all kinds of hobbies because, you know, you're just doing a side hustle. But for me, I'm running a business and I don't, my free time is dedicated to my business. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, the hobbies I used to have, like the video game for an hour or two or whatever. But now I don't, I, I rarely touch that game. Yeah, I'm the same way. Since I started going full time in March, I have my PS4 right here that has like this much dust on it right now. It hasn't, <laughs> it hasn't been touched since then. Right. And like, so like even now, if, if I'm watching a show or something, I am cross posting to like Facebook from my phone. I right. always try to have the business mindset first, Adam. So I don't have time. I guess if you consider napping a hobby, I think a nap here and there. That's about, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's about yeah, it. Yeah, or, or uh, <laughs> what online arbitrage? That could be a hobby. You know, yeah, 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 there you go. It's, it's a time. I'm constantly business. looking for a deal. So, yeah. But now nah, my free time is dedicated to the business. I don't, I don't have free time to just do hobbies, you know. And Fisa is here from Alaska. What's going on, Fisa? Welcome. Jeff said, "Are you coming down to Florida yeah. later this month?" 
Oh, uh, no, that been changed. Uh, my wife don't want to make the trip back. Um, oh man! So we we may end up going to uh, we may end up going to Tennessee. I'm not a hundred percent yet, but she definitely don't want to ride back to Orlando. <laughs> So we're gonna have to push it for another time, but definitely I'll come back through uh eBay addicts gonna holler at you. Marcus out of his hobby is fitness, he's an elliptical watching this right now. <laughs> I need to get back on that uh on that gym grind too. I used to wake up like two hours earlier, go to the gym, but now I just I gotta readjust everything. But fitness right. is also very important. Right. That's what Dixon. I'm also working out. Wait, so Roman, how are you lifting dumbbells and typing at the same time? The, uh, program. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Now I can. Okay. Man, it sounds <laughs> like a, uh, what's the uh, commercial? Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I don't know if you know the program that uh, that man, Alex, uh, is mm -hmm. doing with Jennifer. Yeah. I'm going to start that program on uh, Monday. I already, my box came in on Thursday. So I'm going to start that program and get back into uh my workout uh because he basically said you you really can't work out for the first 30 days but after that you can get back into your workout routine and um i mean i may not look like it now but i used to body build i mean I, that was like a religion to me uh when i was younger and uh i was good at it i was getting first place in the overall and a lot of the shows that i did so i want to kind of get myself back in uh you know not just for the look, I want to get, you know, try to work on my health as well, because, you oh, know, yeah. you, you only got one health and uh, no matter how much money you make, you one thing you want to do is try to be around to enjoy it. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't want to try to build this. And then in a couple of years, I can't even enjoy it because I, I, I don't let my health decline. Uh, that, that's, that's that's very true. Marcus said health is wealth. You got, you got that right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Roman is out here lying. Roman said he's working out lifting dumbbells, but he's typing at the same time, which <laughs> makes no sense. How are you lifting dumbbells and typing? But so you got a voice to text or something like that, but I don't believe that. M Mile High is saying, is she breaking or he breaking child labor laws by letting the seven-year-old package items? <laughs> 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 uh, for me, I'm Ukrainian. We don't believe in child labor laws. I, I was... I was born in Ukraine. We were working on the farm. I was like four years old. I had to like pick up hay yeah. and stuff and herd stuff. So we hey, don't believe a, that. That's a, uh, <laughs> that's a tax write-off right there. Having your, is that seven-year-old your child? If so, that's a tax write-off. You need to talk to your CPA about that. <laughs> he's, he's, he's in between sets? Okay, I get him, Marcus. Roman's in between sets. That's what he when, he, when he's resting, it's stepping. <laughs> Derek says one of his hobbies is playing basketball and singing. Do you all want me to release a reseller song? Or, <laughs> yeah, uh, man. yeah, do Don't it. Put man. That hit. Don't What's put that hit out there, Derek. Let's go, on, Cheryl. How you doing? I do intervals between typing. Okay. Like, so Chris said, U.S. government allows you to employ your children in your business up to twelve k a year. <laughs> looks like you looks like you're ready to run up for yeah. this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's what I said. That's the tax right off. He says, "Why do I think I think I have eight kids?" Tax right off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I feel shameful right now. Oh man, world. All right, so we got a, a couple of minutes left here with you, Tommy. Um, when people sub to you, what would they expect to see in your channel? Did you freeze again? I, I, I froze again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I froze again. What, what was the I, question? I said, uh, if people sub to you, what would they expect to see on your channel? Uh, transparency. I mean, that's basically mm -hmm. what I do. I try to share information. I don't try to hold back. I mean, just like here, I gave y'all some bolos that I know I'm going to get beat up about once I get <laughs> out of the channel. But, I mean, you know, that's what I do because I honestly feel – it, it ain't it ain't a feeling it's really facts that you know it's a, it's a pile of money out there in reselling and you're not gonna get it all you're not gonna get all the products i have been in the stores where i wanted to buy everything but was it a smart wise decision to buy everything and the answer kept coming back as no you know so you know it's enough for everybody and uh my i'm firm i'm a firm believer of uh, 
if I can help you, I'm going to help you. Now, what you do with it, that's your choice. But if you yeah. ask me and I can help you, I'm going to help you. And I, and I just, that's just been the way I have been since I've been in reselling. You know, mm -hmm. I can't make all the money. I can't buy all the products. That's just, that's just the, the, the law of average. You can't, you're not going to be able to do that. You know, even if, even if you can buy everything in Atlanta, you can't buy everything in Florida, New York, <laughs> see, you know, I mean, yeah. so why not share? You know, if you can okay. share, share it. And then make the info free, which I respect even more. A lot of people, a lot of people have like bolo lists, but you gotta pay to get on that to get on that list. And then they give you bolos that are like two months old. <laughs> That's not even a bolo anymore. So right. you gotta respect right. that what you do is free. You guys also yeah. Jennifer just dropped a link to Tommy's Facebook group, uh, Facebook community. Um, a lot of fun stuff there. If you guys want to see a bunch of my videos, I span that group about every single day with a new video that I release. <laughs> so, <laughs> so definitely join that group you have jonathan alfaro's here what's going on jonathan i also saw a robin renee come in rescue and resale tommy do you have family in jackson chua mississippi it's a very uh no a very i've been to uh i've been to jackson question. i've been to jackson mississippi for business um but I don't have any family in Jackson, Mississippi that I know of. Wow. Back from burnout is here. What's going on? Hi, welcome from Australia. So it's like, good morning to you. Good, happy Sunday. Back from Burns can be on my show in August. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Hope and crazy just requested to join this group. Awesome. We'll, so we'll see you in there. It's, it's a fun community. You can post videos right. that you have coming out. You, any questions you have about buying something if you want some advice you can post it and the people are pretty open to help so it's, it's definitely a, a fun group to be in right highly recommend just no I, politics and don't be mean that's very uh very simple thing to follow <laughs> i don't i don't know why jen's promoting these people right here <laughs> 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 i don't know i don't know what they have to offer these glass city guys i don't know what what, what they're all about <laughs> Uh, it, b before you head out, uh, what are the chances of the Steelers winning this year? Uh, not good, man. <laughs> not good, but, but you know, I'm <laughs> hey, I'm a still a fan, do or die, man. I mean, uh, I think Glass City and I, we we're gonna meet up uh, the first. I think the first week in October in Pittsburgh. So if you're in the Pittsburgh area and you want to meet up, that's where we'll be at uh, for the Steelers. I think it's their second home game, but we're going to do some oh, okay. sorting up there as well. Nice. I think if you poll the community of resellers, I feel like Steelers are number one team. There's so many people who are resellers who are Steelers fans. Right. So uh, they, I think it's becoming, no offense to any Cowboys in the chat, I feel like <laughs> Pittsburgh is becoming the new America's team. I think there's a lot of, uh, oh, look, as soon as I say it, Jen goes, go Cowboys. So yeah, I, I knew I was going to offend somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy going hard for them Cowboys, man. I don't blame me. That's your team. That's your team. Uh, Robert said zero chances on a Browns fan. Uh, <laughs> what you talking about? Steelers going to have a good year. All right, Chris. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure they are. I, I, Tommy, I appreciate you coming on, man. That was, it, was, it was fun to, fun to chat. Uh, Jen, if you want to drop his, uh, his link one more time before he heads out, make sure you guys give him a sub. Little Let's Nation. Get, uh, to, to 10K. Child Girl Steelers Nation. Is right. Misha goes to see Steelers. So I'll tell you. And 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 Char lives in Houston. Usually lives in like Dallas. So I'm saying right. they're still all over the place. Yeah. yeah, we we everywhere, man. That that uh, shadow is wide. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you guys travel well too. Yep. Almost any away game, there's like as much as half as much Steelers fans as, as the other team. So right, right. Uh, I respect it. Hi, right, Tommy. Appreciate you being here. We'll see you. Uh, who do you have on your show this Friday? Do you know? It's Friday. Going to be uh, picking in the hood too. Oh, uh, we kind of moved it up. He normally on. He's the guest on our show at the end of uh, the month each Friday, the end of the month. But we moved it up a week because we're going to support uh, Wendy. Uh, mm. that she's having yeah. for, her, for her husband. So that Friday we're going to dedicate to that. So okay, to help awesome. out. Yep. Hi right, guys. Make sure you guys give him a sub. Thank you so much, Tommy, for being here. Appreciate you having. Go fix your internet, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a good one, man. You too, Tommy.
right. Yep. There he is. I had to stare at you for like 15 minutes in the back room, man. You were like. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you all kinds of signs. But where's Eli at? I saw he was back there too. Is he just Eli who? <laughs> oh, this clown? Yeah, what's going on, man? Nothing much. Oh, look at you guys repping your merch. Uh, I like it. You got the shirt. You got the hat. Okay. <laughs> I hate a lot of work, and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it. You know. So, is this your first like YouTube interview, sh like live? Yes. Oh. Whew. Yeah, and and now and then, then I got you. So I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you picked the wrong guy to say yes to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. So <laughs> I'm gonna put you on uh, on full screen, and you tell people who you are. Okay. Okay. I'm John. This is Eli. Eli. So we are uh, Bama picking and grinning. We, I guess we do this as a hobby, really. We go out and find items that uh, people with money want to buy and that we really don't want to keep. And we flip it for extra cash so we can buy the stuff that we want. So started off just more as a hobby of anything and um, teaching teaching my boys. Ari is at work or he'd be on here, but teaching the boys a little bit about uh, trading and uh, really just making some money, man. Not having to do the you know, normal nine to fiver, but can go out and make money any anytime and anywhere. So that's just yeah, that's, that's awesome. Here you go. Jen just dropped the link, guys. Make sure you guys just hit it. Click sub. Let's, let's see. Let's see if we can get him. Um, how long have you guys been on YouTube now? Uh, probably about 11 months, maybe 10, 10 or 11 months. Okay. And what what made you start one? Like what inspired you to start one? I wanted to be like you. <laughs> so like you started one. It's like you started before I knew who you knew who I was. <laughs> yeah. Really, it was just I, I don't know, just an idea. I started watching um, some other channels, you know, learning, and I thought, you know, we we find some unique things sometimes, and I thought we maybe could just share our journey. And um, I don't know, I, we just thought it'd be fun, so. Nothing real big about it. We saw it a good deal. Looks like every time I refresh, you guys gain a sub. So that's, that's, that's cool to see. Oh, really? And we I'm just passed past 351. Our, <laughs> our subs have been like on like pause forever. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it, it, it's, 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 it's a tough grind, man. It, it's, a, it's, it's, it's tough. <laughs> so, uh, so do you mainly like, I associate you guys mainly with like flea markets. Is that a, that'd be a fair assumption or no? Um, Yard sales, flea markets, yeah. Uh, we were at the flea market earlier today. We didn't find anything, man. It was terrible. But, yeah, we, we go to flea markets, yard sales, estate sales, you name it. And uh, just mostly we, we look at toys and video games is what we're looking for. Um, like I said, what we look for is things that are about the 80s or 90s. So people who are entering their 40s or late 30s who, who finally are settling down and getting some money. And want to remember their childhood, so we look for those types of items that they'll be willing to spend money on. And if we find it cheap and flip it, and then we go out and buy it. Eli's into all kinds of stuff. You can see like, we're in his room actually. Yeah, so he, yeah. We got a lot of people are a fan of that. It says Charles is have fun with that back wall for a few hours. Pearls yeah. has look at that collection back there. That, that's us. Let me put you guys big again. I want to. I want to see. What do you? What do you have back there? Dang. Are those like all loose Funko Pops at the bottom? Uh, these, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dang. He, he's, he takes them out of the box. He he's not a in box Funko guy. Right. I know is, 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 is not like me back there, right there. Yeah. So mine are all in box. Hey, a lot <laughs> of people are really gonna cringe at that, but he does that. Then he's a big Dragon Ball Z guy. I see it. That's awesome. Yeah, and then he's got. You can't see the rest of it. He's a big vinyl <laughs> collector. He has a huge uh, vinyl. Oh wow. Uh, he likes music and uh yeah now, now that most of this stuff come from like yard sales and flea markets or is that come from somewhere else well the a lot of these um skylanders he, he collects he's been collecting skylanders since he was little and so we came across some huge amounts of skylanders doing that so he's got almost every one of them and then he flipped some stuff he made a couple sales this last week he made more money than i did and so he, <laughs> He'll buy his toys that he wants, and so hey, it saves me money. I don't have to go buy them. Oh, that's awesome. So, uh, Chris says you guys have an awesome backpack. I've seen it. That that that, that logo, the the white with the with the overprint logo, it's pretty pretty cool. 
I've got it over here if you want to oh. see. Yeah, show the people. Yeah, e Eli will go get it. He's, he's skinnier than I am. I'll probably knock everything over. <laughs> <laughs> we came in and set this up just for you, man. I took like. Oh, oh wow. Dang. That yeah. feels special. <laughs> yeah. I had to look good for you, bro. I mean, you're, you're like professional, man. I'm professional. I feel like you need a like, better definition of that word. <laughs> my son says I'm a hoarder. Oh, Lord. So there's the backpack to come out with. Yeah, that's that's dope. That looks, that looks pretty pretty clean. Yeah. yeah. I, and we're, we're contemplating coming out with our own line of underwear that looks like this, but I don't think we <laughs> I would be a buyer. <laughs> <laughs> My face right there. Get, get the ladies excited. <laughs> It'd be terrible. It'd be terrible. Uh, Cheryl wants to know, when did you get your son involved in the business? Um, before the channel. Yeah, before the channel ever existed, we and I were, were going out. Um, it, it initially, it started out with my oldest son and me were starting to flip T-shirts. Um, and then he, he kind of lost interest in it. I got involved in some... Uh, some of his own stuff going on with sports and video games and all that stuff. Then Eli, I finally asked him, hey, you want to go to, I think, with a flea market or go somewhere? And he just enjoyed it. And ever since, he's he picks out stuff better than I do. He's got an eye for this, man. He's, he's really good. Uh, I've noticed that he does most of the like, negotiations, too. People, like, people, I guess, give him better deals because he's a kid. <laughs> so before his voice changed, <laughs> it was awesome. I would say, Eli, go over there and let's talk to him about. Go, go see what they'll get you this for. Tell, tell them about some of these deals you got. Um, Can't remember them, but he would go. I, what, I think one of them. You went up there, and he's the guy said. Um, he goes, "How much do you want for this?" And the guy said, "I, I think I want." I said, fifteen dollars." He goes, "Man, I only got five. Still <laughs> five. And I'm watching. The guy goes. All right, I'll give it to you. <laughs> and I said, Eli, you had more than five dollars. He's like, Yeah, I only had five in my hand. <laughs> Bro, he used to get steals. Oh and, man! Uh, a long time ago is actually when he he had COVID, um, so he had to stay home. He couldn't go out and do yard sales, and so I did a FaceTime with him and took him with me. Uh, and he negotiated over FaceTime and got a lady talk down. <laughs> you got a future in this, man. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's good to know. Yeah, he's, he's a man. <laughs> mm. if, if you watch the channel, you'll see he's he's goofy. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember, like, one of the first videos I saw you, he was, like, negotiating with some, like, older lady at a flea market. And he got her to, like, pay, like, a dollar per each item that she had, like, six or seven dollars for. And he bought, like, bought her out and paid, like, a dollar for, for each item. So, like... Yeah, smart negotiation. He got that right, Char. He, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, he'll tear it up. They got the Beyblades, too. Yeah, he, he got a whole box of Beyblades. He still has them. I didn't even listed them. Is, is... <laughs> wait, wait. So does Eli need to list them, too? So you, you want Eli to go find it, to negotiate, to list it, to ship it? What are you going to do, John? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to work myself out of a job here, bro. <laughs> but he didn't realize that until you just said it. <laughs> He's like, like, wait a minute! I have to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he he lists uh, if it's an item he finds and buys with his own money. I I let him sell it on our our Mercari page, and uh, whatever comes in, he gets. So basically, I just I want him to learn how to list things too. So I'll help him out any way I can. Um, but he if he like he just sold an item this week, right? Tell, tell him about what you sold. Um. Remember at the old American Thrift before they changed it? It was Salvation Army. Yeah, Sal Salvation. Yeah, before they changed it. There was junk everywhere. And I found a Pokemon box that was like vintage. From like 1996 or something like that. And I just picked it up. asked how much it was. She said $15. There's no bargaining with that woman. But. <laughs> so I uh, paid her 15 for it. Sold it for 116 So, Dang. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. He's he's a mess, man. So Mel from Australia wants to know how old is Eli? Uh, I'm 13. 13. Nice. And then um, Lisa wants to know, says she sees you have a Van Halen shirt, Eli. What's your favorite group? Uh, 
It's between Chevelle and Seven Days. Wow. You're 13? Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, so you see, John thought you about good music from 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 early from early childhood. Actually, I I just got him uh, tickets to go see Seven Dust this Friday. Wow, most thirteen year olds like like stupid like gangster mumble rap. <laughs> no, uh, Takashi Six Nine is not in the house. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got people just sub to you. Nice, good to see it. I appreciate that. Yeah, well, we just asked Elisa. There you go. You know, John deals Joe deals welcome at 13 I don't know what Pokemon was well I don't think Pokemon existed when you were 13 Roman. <laughs> that's, that's, that's probably why yeah they they didn't have them in black like. so Joe deal says he opened for seven dust at the Raven Milwaukee really would you, would you look at that look at that small world <laughs> really? a band was he in a band I hope I, I, I would guess Joe deals what, what kind of band were you for you at Yep, Lisa likes the, that answer. There's a great group. So. John, what is your favorite? Uh, what are your favorite bands? Uh, Striper. I, I like Striper uh, a lot. Um, Faith No More. That's, that's a big one that people don't know about. I like Faith No More. It's probably one of my favorite bands. And yeah, I've, I've never heard of them. You never heard of Faith No More? No. The the the. Do you have no more faith in me now? I'll talk to you. <laughs> that one. Uh, I was a big grunge guy too, so I uh, liked a lot of Nirvana, uh, Stone Temple Pilots, stuff like that. Okay, so grunge is good. Yeah. Do, do, you, do you like any like grunge, like that came out recently? I feel like grunge has decreased in value over the years. Nineties uh, grunge is way better than the grunge now. Yeah, I mean, you have what is it? Uh, Three Days Grace, kind of grungy sounding, Puddle of Mud. Uh, what is that other one that's out right now? I, I can't remember. There's nothing, no, nothing like Nirvana, man. I mean, that was to me, it was yeah. a. Well, yeah. You can't, you can't compete with Nirvana. So, no. so Cheryl said she profited of her son's cuteness before. That's <laughs> it's great. Absolutely. Listen, <laughs> that's in this kid. He's got to pay something back sometime, right? <laughs> so Joe says he was in a band for five years. It's called Party Metal. Named was Vagrancy. Vagrancy. Yeah. Okay. Well, I everybody, uh, everybody get a bunch of people on something for me because I never heard of Faith no more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. I appreciate that. You know. Uh, Derek, I, the sets, that's how much I love them, bro. Which, oh, which, wow. <laughs> 90s grunge, you got that right. Eli, uh, Dex, Eli, you are the truth, bro. There we go. Somebody said you're the truth, bro. Oh. Joe Deal says one of his guitarists went on and did lead guitar for a couple of years and did at least one album with Nonpoint. Wow. Okay, Joe. Wow. That's awesome. I actually... So, what does Eli want to do when he's done with uh, school in like 12 years or whatever school is done? Uh, I was going to go to Stanford and study technical. <laughs> so now you see how I'm learning. <laughs> John just heard Bill's and it says like Stanford. <laughs> <laughs> I got to grow my channel, man. I got to get, hey, y'all sub please and buy stuff from me. My kids got big dreams. Okay. <laughs> And no, that's out, it's out of state tuition, right? I'm thinking there's no Stanford in Alabama. <laughs> Alabama Technical Institute of Hands-On Training, but he, he wants Stanford, so I, I don't. He, he wants to be uh, study engineering. He he loves uh, math, and uh, and so he wants to do engineering. He uh, he he's hoping to get a sports scholarship, so he's trying real hard in his sports. And grades, he's got good grades. Team, good grades. I mean, he's he's very intelligent. So uh, I believe. Wait, wait, it, he's intelligent. What's that? Are you sure he's your? Are you sure he's your kid, John? Listen, we had a DNA <laughs> test. I had to do. And uh, but it, <laughs> miraculously, he took from his mom. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So Mel said, "There's a boy about 14 years old." Oh wow, Mel's not wrenched. I am so sorry, Mel. You're wrenched now. 
Uh, that, that that is a that's a miscue on my part. Uh, there's a boy that's 14 years old in UK killing and reselling. You like to watch him. His name is uh, Reseller Kid. Mel, you arranged. If you want to drop that link, you can, you can do it. Yeah. I'm so sorry that you want to wrench before. <laughs> yeah, drop that that link in there. I'll go check him out. Um, 14 year old kid killing and reselling. <laughs> you don't want to go to Stanford. Look at Paul. He went to Harvard. <laughs> yeah, look at me. I went to Harvard. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I went to community. I don't know nothing about all this. I went to community college and I dropped out, John. <laughs> Fist bump, bro. There we go. Dropped out of community college. That's <laughs> uh, good. Yeah, I'm glad I kept on camera for sure. Um, so, John, you've been in Alabama your whole life? You've been a Bama boy? No. No, I have not. That's a good question. So, I was born in this city called Opelika here, where we live now, but. I didn't move back here until 13 years ago. My parents were missionaries. <laughs> so I was raised in Belize, Central America uh, until the age of 15. Wow. Mm -hmm. Then we moved back to the United States. What, what country in Central America? Belize. Belize. Yeah. Dang. So do you habla espanol? No, Belize is the only English speaking country in Central America. I feel like you're just saying that to yourself so you're not doing Spanish. Yes. Uh, no, <laughs> they uh they speak a form you know it, it sounds like jamaica they have a thing they call creole and okay. uh it's it's just really uh, a little unique very fast language so it's a big slang but it's uh unique to that country and so nice. i've learned that but so i went to grade school there all the way up to my they go by standards and forms there forms is your high school so I went there to form two, which is uh, a sophomore. So uh, Chris said Belize is killer. I don't know if that's that's good killer or, or bad killer. It's Maybe. good. It's a beautiful place, beautiful people. They uh, and resell daddy said that death pile though. Do you know who resell daddy is? Is that one of your? Uh, he, knows about, he knows about your death pile. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't be telling my business up on here, cuz. <laughs> then Mel uh, dropped the link for uh, the reseller kid. And Jen found him, too. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I just we'll picked him up. He's going to take a look at him as well. And there's a guy in here uh, that I actually met today out uh, thrifting. And uh, he's on here right now. So uh, his name is Luke. And uh, Luke, I, I can't see your name on here real quick, but he's in the chat. Was he the one that came in earlier and said that you told him to be here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't actually, hit, that thumb, hit that thumb for sure. <laughs> we're and stuff, and uh, I, I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Oh, we got Kayla's in here. What's going on, Kayla? Homeschooling picker. Welcome. Wow. I got royalty in here. Wow. Well, I was ready the royalty already, John. I'm sorry. I <laughs> And then, and then Jennifer Hayes is in here, so that's enough royalty for you. Then we had Mel from Australia is in here, but you just excited about Kayla. Psh, Kayla's nothing. It's no big deal. Do you, are you even sub to Kayla? Do you know who Kayla is? Yes, I am. <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> uh, Miss Taffy is here as well. What's going on, Miss Taffy? Welcome. Miss Taffy. <laughs> Unlike most of says, this guy has a full head of luscious hair in his hat. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Oh. Real. Real. <laughs> Shout right. here. Kelly's oh. channel. There we go. Home it. Uh, I see a part of my house. There was a question, but I, I missed over it. So, if you guys ask a question, ask ask it again. I, I can't can't find it. I, I love Kayla. I shout her out in my video. <laughs> I feel like everybody loves Kayla. Kayla's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's got some good stuff. What, what, what did Eli take out? He took like, took out some vinyls, right? Is there some vinyls he wants to show us? Yeah, he was trying to make fun of my bands that I like. That's all. Oh, don't, don't pay him any. Uh, that's what it was. That's all it was. Okay. <laughs> no, you didn't plug it in. Plug it in, homeboy. <laughs> what, what are you gonna play? You gonna play live music? No, on my show. My phone. Uh, oh, dying, and I, I 
Hey, I plugged it up on the side of the phone, but I didn't plug it up to the. Uh, oh, oh, is your battery die on your phone? <laughs> it's not. It's plugged up now. Okay. Uh, I was like, you better not be playing any music on my on my show right now, man. I'm gonna get. No. Nah, oh, man. okay. Prince is is that Prince? Yeah. Is it Prince. Yeah, Prince. Prince is. Uh, I, I love me some Prince. He's still weird. Yeah, bro. He's still weird. Oh man. The mystery. So. I don't know why you're bringing out my stuff. It's but my this, stuff. Oh. Anyway, so this one right here, I've never heard of this band before. And it's, uh, what's the name of this thing? Bay Blue. Has anybody heard of this before? No. Is it a bolo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> really? I had no clue what this was. I just saw the, you know, they had the, the big hair. You know what I'm talking about, yep. bro? The 80s hair bands, yep. yes, sir. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so, I just picked it up because of the, the, the 80s look of it. And I don't know if you ever heard of Discogs, it's uh, a site where you enter all your, yeah, uh, your collection in. So, I was entering this in for my collection and I looked at it and I, I had to take a double glance. This thing is worth over $200. What, yeah, so yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah, live bolo alerts for everybody today. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. I, I, uh, I freaked out. I don't know if maybe it's worth twenty now, but back then it was worth two hundred. Uh, but yeah, I never heard of it. <laughs> Harry says they kicked out the band right before the album came out. <laughs> so, I, have, I have a couple thousand. Been building since I was eight. Bang. Been doing. Right, we saw Daddy said it's worth two fifty right now. There we go. There. Okay. So. See, I wasn't lying. There you go. This is a good one right here. I had to look for this for a while. London Calling. The Clash London Calling. That's a good one. Yeah. So, so John, what do you collect? Um, Bills. <laughs> uh, I collect... Uh, I, I thought you were going to say, like, floral poly mailers. Oh, bro, don't <laughs> get me started on that, man. <laughs> Don't give me. I, I collect uh, vintage toys, uh, video game systems, um, vintage video games and stuff like that. So I'm a video game collector and toy collector. Buy no bills. So that's why I love selling records. Every collection I buy has at least one nugget of pure gold. Man, I'm telling you. What, what am I? What am I doing here? What well, are you show? Just is Eli showing his whole collection now. We got some uh, seven some, dust. Some, some t-shirts. All right, seven dust. Vintage Seven Dust. He's excited about going to this concert. I, I see that. Is he, he's going to be wearing two different shirts? Is he going to yeah. have one show for the first half and then switch? <laughs> you know, you know, just set change. Yeah. Nice. So, John, you say you do this for fun, right? What is your full-time thing? Uh, full-time, I am a uh, assistant manager of production at, at Kia Motors. And uh, we, we produce the Sorento, the K5, and the Telluride. So I'm in automotive manufacturing. The Sorento K5 and the what? The Telluride. Uh, okay, so I just, I just want to know which car is not to buy. Yeah, so all I, three. I, I know a few. This isn't in production. They can't get that good. All three. <laughs> nah, they're they're great vehicle. I've been with them for uh, about a little over 11 years now. Oh wow. You ever think about going full time flea marketing? Nah. I mean, you can, you can always dream to have. I mean, I would love to do this, but it take a lot of peanuts right now to run what I got going on. So, Marcus said the Kia Stinger is a sick car. Yeah, yeah. And and Kia Pearl Stinger. loves the Telluride. There you go. Telluride is very popular right now. Actually, I mean, you can't hardly keep them on the lots. There, there are people paying big money now. He's gonna like that. What are you gonna show, show some Pokemon? You showing some Pokemon now? You already knew what you were going to show. Oh man, send that over. <laughs> Look, it needs to be. It needs to be his friends. I feel like I have the same one over there. That's very similar to. It. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, is this show and tell, bro? What are you doing? What, what, what are you doing? <laughs> I, I, apparently, he thinks my whole show is be just show and tell time. <laughs> he, he says, "If I'm off, oh, it's a Pikachu. I don't care about her. He, he can toss her to the side." <laughs> <laughs> Tesla or Kia? Is, is that Kia, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, Kia. I'm with Kia. I had an opportunity to work with Tesla, but I just I don't feel like moving to California. <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl's actually looking for a Sorento for second week for a couple, a few days ago. 
She wants to burn orange. Can you hook, can you hook her up? Hook her up? Sure, yeah. we'll drive right out. <laughs> We're just gonna, this guy is going to be showing plush the whole time, though. I don't even know what that is. What is that? It's a dragon. Oh, how okay. Train, how to train your dragon. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, I found that. Uh, the Build-A-Bear, How to Train Your Dragon. Actually, it's... Wait, wait, so is this your, your son right here? Resell Daddy? Is, is that your kid? Putting Dad on blast. I don't know who that is. <laughs> he said, I'm putting you on blast. And he said, Dad. So I figured that's your, that's your other kid. No. Unless, my, unless my other kid doesn't start another channel on this song. <laughs> he might be. Hey, you know. I don't know. If, if that's you, lost loved one, I love you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> he, said, he said, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> uh, so uh is alabama like south enough where you guys can have like yard sales all year round or no uh, um almost not all year round you know we get like two snowflakes a year and so it shuts down the whole place when, when that, you see one snowflake right. oh okay so you said eli was putting you on blast that, that, that that's what was happening ah uh, I, I, read, <laughs> I read that completely wrong yeah, I was like, I, I didn't, I don't know how you oh, <laughs> Mile high, at the, uh, so we saw that is her husband. Okay, <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> now, uh, I that daddy, um, it is not my fault. I didn't imply that at all. That's, 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 that's me. I'm that's, thinking for responsibility for it. <laughs> what, what's wrong with you? I told you to act normal while he's on here, and then I guess I got what I asked for. Wait, is that not is that not how he usually acts around the house? My my lord, no, he's actually kind of calm right now. Huh? So uh, Marcus said he's been to Gulf Shores in Orange Beach, Alabama. It's beautiful there. Yeah, we go down there quite often. I've got um, real good friends who live down there, and uh, if he goes down, uh, there's a few few good little thrift stores down there. <laughs> Melissa knows they're crocodiles near where you live. You have that thick sounding accent. Well, uh, I, first of all, Mel, I think crocodiles only are in Australia, right? Alligators are in the in the states, correct? I have a thick accent. Yeah, thick sudden sounding accent. Yes. I, yes. Really? Wow, I didn't know that. Do thank, I? thank you. Uh, you don't. I, I have. Eli doesn't. <laughs> Eli, it's just me. This yeah. year. Crocodile, yeah. no. Uh, alligators, yes. No. Really. I just wanted to, because Mel's from Australia, so I, I wanted to read it in her accent, because she has a really like awesome Australian accent. Yeah. I, I, I try to read crocodiles in her accent, but I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I get so, the, the Australian all mixed up, and I try to do the accent, and they're like, that's this one or that. I don't <laughs> can't do it. Yeah, she said alligators, I mean, very, very thick, drawn accent. Oh, it sounds like it sounds like you can read me a book and put me to sleep, John. I feel that's what it sounds like. Really? Just like read me like to well, kill a mockingbird can while I tell you're you swinging you on your front porch. Mine is thick, and I just need to bring you around some other people around here because. Uh, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so, so uh, jumping off Marcus's question, if I were to Alabama, what three things should I go and see? If you went to Alabama, yeah, the three things you should go and see. Not here. Mm -hmm. State line. And the other state line. <laughs> now, uh, that's a good question. Who should we go see? Not here. Well, well, is the place that Marcus talked about Gulf Shores, Orange Beach? Gulf is that good? Great beach, beach area with the. They have the same sandy white sand like Florida, like uh, Panama City, and all down there in the Gulf. Uh, it's that's a real neat place. Um, come during football season. I mean, we're big football so you you have auburn university you have university of alabama just really neat to see those areas and just a lot of history going around here i'd look up uh fort benning uh you know just the different uh history and i don't know there's not a lot to do in alabama to be honest with you're you. really promoting your state really well <laughs> well i'm gonna tell you I, I work a lot so i really don't get to do much george on the other Derek wants to know where he can get Kia parts from. The parts he needs are never in stock. Hit me up, bro. Now, uh, <laughs> I, I, I can't tell you that. We can't hardly get parts 
<laughs> to build a car, so I can't tell you. So uh, the keys have both. Oh, keys have alligators as well? And crocodiles as well? I did keys. not know that. Uh, yeah, there's saltwater crocodiles. Yeah, I thought she was asking in Alabama. No, I, I just, I answered that there's no crocodiles in the USA, but. Oh, okay. I, I Listen, Ooh. I. I no. Cheryl, this is a soulful swag in your voice. You've been around the black folk. Um, Let me tell you something the, now. Uh, there is. Uh, well, you know, uh, yeah. uh, I don't know about that. I, just, I am who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I love the accent. It's so cool. <laughs> Sock, hey, what's up, Gino? Gino says Sock Capital of the World is Alabama. I'm, there you go. <laughs> if you want to be... Become a storm chaser. It's a good job in a dump. You guys have a lot of storms. Now there you go. There you go. If you want to see some naders, now now that's we got some of those around here. <laughs> you got a lot of tornadoes in Alabama. Yeah, yeah, we get we get a lot of tornadoes. Yep, yep. There you go. See, Misha's going to be going through because they're uh, they're going to Dante's Rally in South Carolina and they're driving through Texas, so they're going to drive through and. Okay. Go to the sock capital of the world, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Fort well, Fort Payne. That's sock capital. Fort Payne, Alabama. Okay. You know what that is? Oh, Beal, Alabama is a real nice place. Down on the bay as well. That's a nice. Yeah. 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 Have you ever traveled outside of Alabama in the States? Of course. Have I ever traveled what? Outside of Alabama. Yeah. Where are you? Now, hold on a second. <laughs> Just because I talk like this doesn't mean that I haven't been anywhere. <laughs> I grew up in Central America. But, um, <laughs> that might be a little bit of why my soul, but uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> I've traveled all over, man. Uh, I've been to Korea five times. South Korea, of course. Don't don't start with the North Korea. But South I was, Korea. I was, like, I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're we're a Korean manufacturer, so I've been over there for different. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Is that is that John's face in the socks? Oh yeah. You already know. John, John, you're putting your face everywhere, man. I didn't do that. <laughs> put your face in socks. You want to put your face in some briefs in the future? Man, that's <laughs> you got you got your face on your t-shirt. Show your shirt again. People that just came in. Show the show the shirt again. Look at that. He's got his face in the shirt. Look, John just promoting his mug everywhere. Why well, can't tell me <laughs> a good looking shirt? <laughs> Looks better like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh so it's oh I didn't just notice you got a ticker bug. It's not as that. Hey, that yeah. vintage? Yeah. Guard sale too. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Awesome. Bama Belize. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Bama Belize? Yeah, I got that <laughs> Bama Belize accent going on. That, that's that's right. So you've been to Korea, Belize, Bama. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of another country. <laughs> so I, I work in Georgia. We we live not too far from the Georgia line. So we're oh, okay, an hour and a half south of Atlanta is where we are. Oh, right. We're right yeah. next to Auburn University. I don't know if you've heard of Auburn University. War Eagle. Oh, oh Lord. my gosh! Uh, what you do? We don't talk about that stuff. That, hey, that, we, that, those are customers right there. Man. Hey, I appreciate you having me on, guys. Hey, we'll see you guys <laughs> later. Jimmy says, I would have died if his face is on that mug, right? <laughs> he was going to do it, like, boom. Amanda did that to me. We were at church, bro, and she handed out all these people this socks, and I'm I'm over at church, and I start looking around, and I'm like, my, what in the world's going on? And everybody had my face on their socks. It was, it was crazy. What do you mean, everybody? Like, how many people? Like, 15 or 20 people had my, my face on their <laughs> Then this clown takes it to school and wears them at school. <laughs> and now, so every Thursday is my face day on, on socks. They wear the socks at school here, my face on it. Wow. Yeah, crazy, right? Okay. Something crazy says I live an hour from now that I'm, I'm on border. I live an nice. hour. What, which side of it? The right side. Absolutely. <laughs> if, it, if it's not on the Alabama side, she's, so it's on the right side. <laughs> Well, I just didn't know. Is it Florida, Georgia? Is that the only Mississippi, right? Mississippi. Yeah. I've dri I've driven through Alabama. That's the only thing I know about Alabama. Is I I've driven through it plenty of times. Well, if you drive through again, 
just stop by and I can't show you much because we don't have much, but I can say, hey. I can go see the soccer capital of the world next time I drive through. There's always that. How far is Greenville from you? Greenville? South Carolina. Far? Man, don't do it. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. What, what's he going to do? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how far that is. Uh, oh. I think Myrtle, Myrtle Beach is about seven hours from me. Oh, okay, so yeah. I'm not, not going to stop by and see you. I ain't driving seven hours to see <laughs> Why not, bro? I don't like socks that much to go to the capital of the world. <laughs> well, if you change your mind. So uh, what do you have coming out on your channel in the future? What, do you, what, do you, what are you working on? <sighs> <laughs> How many things of your dad's do you have in clothing? <laughs> <laughs> and he had that shirt on too that day with the socks. <laughs> man, John, you really conceited, man. You got your, you got your face on everything. Well, I don't know what to say about all that. <laughs> uh, well, back to what about. So on the channel. Wait, wait, wait. No, we, we, we got to think of time. I got to talk about the shirt real quick. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. said, we got, we got, that shirt is the best. Cheryl says, you know, no real embarrassment until your kids put you on blast. <laughs> Kayla, so, Kayla says, I love this kiddo. <laughs> there, there you go. Somebody does. He's the, he's the, somebody does. What are you trying to <laughs> And that, that's what your face is getting red. <laughs> me. I mean, I, he, uh, this is what's on our channel. If you like just family fun, we have a good time. Uh, Eli is the star of the show. He mm -hmm. picks at me. Uh, we hit him a lot. Yeah, he shoots me with Nerf guns and I did stuff. Say. Yeah, he shot me today. Wow. So there's little things that we try to keep in the videos every time we find it. And Nerf guns are, if I see a Nerf gun and they got bullets, I try to move because I know it's coming. <laughs> you didn't see that. It's, 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 so, so explain this shirt. Why why was that shirt made? I don't. It wasn't your idea either? My wife did that. It was, I think, Father's Day or something. She did that. Oh. Yeah. So it's it's a good it's a good shirt. I say you look better on the shirt than you do in real life. <laughs> I feel the same way. Well, you know, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Oh yeah, you got your album too. Yeah, my album. Uh, oh, he's gonna find something else. <laughs> so you know, if I ever come on here again, I'm not bringing him, right? Uh, Shell has a very important question. Okay, how is your hair so dark but your beard so gray? That's what I was saying. I think that's the only question you can answer. I think that's a fair question. It, could I, it be because of uh, that guy that's over there? It's, yeah. So uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why, but my beard started turning gray about two years ago. Not two years ago. It was a lot see, longer. I, I got a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't like it's been a lot longer than two years. <laughs> Listen to what he has to say, all right? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know why I did that. It, it just did, okay? I'm, now I'm kind of subconscious about it. <laughs> Damn, let's face it. So, Eli, what are you looking for? You got anything else with John's face on it? It's not his face, but it's his CD he had for his band. <laughs> you, still have, you still have a band? And your CD covers a little girl in an angel costume? Yeah, she's got. Uh, she's an angel right here. And then on the back, she has like devil horns and with a fiery dart. So it's like the angel of light. You know what I'm saying? The devil comes as an angel of light. Wow. Yeah. Is that a grunge band? Uh, it's it's kind of grunge rock, yeah. What was, what was the name of your band? Spooky Dawn. Spooky? <laughs> yeah. Sounds terrifying. Yeah. And he's got, yeah, he's got a big banner. Um, I had, I was in two bands while, a while back, Spooky Dawn and a band called Lie Awake. And so, so Kayla says you have better hair than her. There you go, John. Well, thank you. I don't and know. Gina said he just subbed you. So there awesome. you go. I appreciate it. Let's see where we are on the sub count. 353, guys. 353 subs. Wow. Slowly, slowly growing. That's that's the name of the game for me. <laughs> you are slow. Yeah. 
Who would say that? What is the most popular uh, video on your channel? The most popular video is going to be when we found a bunch of wrestlers at um, Goodwill when they were actually putting out good stuff. Found uh -huh. bags of wrestlers. Um, and we did a live, well, not live, but we filmed us going through them and talking about what we found. So we opened the bags and went through them. And Ari, um, he just began to spout out about all these wrestlers, all their history, when they first wrestled, what they got. And so it's the first video we had with over a thousand views. Oh, wow. A thousand views. That's yeah. an accomplishment. Yeah, it's the only one. The others are about like 25, but that one hit a thousand. <laughs> you got to start somewhere. A thousand is pretty good. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. They so, have great content. Everyone should go and subscribe to them. I say, hey, thank you, Mile High. You tell them. You tell them. I, I figured, guys, if you watch my show, you're probably already sub to me. So ignore the last part. <laughs> but but definitely, uh, definitely sub to, to Bama for sure. Yeah. yeah, we appreciate that, guys. It's it means a lot. I mean, I'm I'm trying to get a kid to Stanford. So, so Eli, what what sports do you play to try and get a scholarship? Uh, football and baseball. And which one trying to get a scholarship in football or baseball? Football. Mm, smart move. What, what position? Uh, center. Center. You. Yeah. <laughs> How how small is your school that you're that you're a center? <laughs> uh, actually, we had like seventy players on our team. And, and you're a center. You seem like you seem like you you like should be like a wide receiver or something. Uh, I'm not that skinny. <laughs> he is, so he's been playing football since he was five, tackle football, and um, he filled in. He, he played travel football, played all over, and. Uh, they had him fill in for the center every once in a while. And so they just ask him who knows how to play center, who can snap the ball. And he's just – every time when he raises his hand, they get him to do it. He does a good job. He's gone against guys six foot tall. I figured. Yeah. Uh, he's Yeah, he's played some real big guys. And uh, he, 15 -year -olds. he – Yeah, 15-year-olds when he was 11. And Wait, you're, still, you're still in middle school, right? 13 still middle school? Yeah. Was but he when uh, does high school start? Are you, are you going to high school next year, Eli? Uh, yes, sir. No, okay. he starts eighth grade next year. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, he, so he still got two years before high school. Okay. Yeah. So he, he loves defense more than anything. That's where he started. They he, he would he was probably one of the smallest nose tackles you ever nose guards you ever see, and he he would tear you up. That's that's what I play in my they, flag league. I, they, I'm nose tackle. Yeah, they called him Little Chaos. <laughs> They call him chaos. Now they call him chaos. Because he's not real anymore. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, see, Kelly says some people like that salt pepper type, type of look. So you're like, nothing to be self conscious about. If you really want to match, you just get your color kits for that. And then Shell gave you an idea. She said you should film your son coloring your beard. There's a video. <laughs> you said we were going to paint your toenails, but you said no. <laughs> oh, right, what's wrong we were going to paint them pink and then at the church service. We're gonna have a, like a foot washing. A, a what? A foot, a foot washing? washing? Yeah. Gonna wash his feet? <laughs> yeah, like, uh, to Jesus. <laughs> while he had his toenails painted. <laughs> yeah, while he had his toenails painted. Wow. I, okay. The fuck, man. This is why I don't have kids, Jim. <laughs> you know, uh, learn from me. Just learn from me. <laughs> Oh, uh, Cheryl said, Kelly, don't get me started about how much I like salt and pepper. Ellen mentioned that because he said it was so conscious. <laughs> and Kelly yeah. said salt and pepper is her jam, too. So, Amanda, guys, I was, I was, uh, you know, just a little worried about it. And Amanda, she, I said, you know, do you want me to diet, cut it off? She's like, no, I like it. And I'm like, really? Yeah. So there I just do it, I'll do it for the ladies now. As, as long as the wife likes it, right? That's hard. That's, that's, uh, yeah, I hope so, she's yeah. probably is. Yeah, she probably is watching. I asked her to come on here, and, and uh, she she said no. So, Smart. Yeah. Smart move. That's how it would be pretty funny if she comes on, like, we're all John Deere as well. That'd be pretty fun. <laughs> Don't give her any ideas, man. 
You still got like 14 minutes, Amanda. If you if you, if you want to go play dress up and okay, come on real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so before Eli came back with your shirt on, you were talking about what future videos are coming out on your channel. Oh, well, we got, um, I'm, I'm shooting one now. I just did my first online auction as far as uh, um, a, a state sale auction. Mm -hmm. And I've never done that before. And uh, so I'm just going to kind of document how I did that and how it went. So it was a really, as I think it was high bid. Yep. I, I heard it, but I've never done it before. Mm -hmm. And um, there was an estate sale that came up in the local area, and so I tried that out, and, and and I scored some pretty good little things on it. So we're going to show what we did there, and then um, I think we got a video about the Amazon returns uh, bins again. We went back there, mm -hmm. um, and I got some more. Uh, how is that a uh, store? Is, is it still good? The bin store? The last two times I've I've been haven't been as as good, but mm -hmm. it's hit or miss. I've I've got some good stuff out of there though. Right. I've made some good money, crazy cash boys. Wow. Hey, look. Yeah, he's using a uh, four terabyte terabyte hard drive. I found Can't out there for eight dollars. Appreciate you, bro. That's pretty good. Yeah, he's using it on his uh, Xbox over here. He, I couldn't sell it because he wanted it. Yeah, eight bucks for that. Dang, how much would I would have sold for? Uh, one hundred and thirty bucks, I think. Dang. Yeah, I would have. I would have listed it. <laughs> yeah, not if you have a kid. You're not going to. Uh, I mentioned this. Uh, I forgot on somebody's show the other day oh, on Ella's show. I think it was yesterday. That uh, you know how you guys have the ice cream truck driving around when 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 they have ice cream. Mm -hmm. you no. Know? So my dad taught me at a young age that when they play the music, that means they're out of ice cream. So, <laughs> You're like, man, they never have ice cream. I'm like, why is he always playing music? <laughs> why is he? Yeah, why is he <laughs> so, uh, so like, that's the kind of parents I grew up with. <laughs> I like, and I like. I, I wish I'd have thought about that. <laughs> well, yeah. it's, a live, it's, it's, it's a two hour show, and Fiza, you, you did all that in two hours. It's pretty important. Pretty impressive. Pick some mushroom cookies Pick some orange chicken. Yeah. Do, do you know where? Do, do you know who Anfisa is, John? Are you, are you aware of the greatness that is Anfisa? You know, I, I don't think so. Anfisa has a YouTube channel. She's from Alaska. I have seen. Yes, I have seen her before. Yes, and I she have. she lives off grid. So, pretty much, there's she talks more to moose than she talks to people. Pretty much. Well, I mean, sometimes I, I feel like I talk to other things than people too. But it's Eli. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you mean? Yeah, when I lived in Belize, we basically uh, a lot of the time we lived off grid too. The first pool I ever went to didn't have running water. And we had outhouses, and it was it was fun. I feel like Alabama's the off grid of the United States too. So I feel like you probably still live off grid off grid now. Oh, really? Probably Alaska. Really now. <laughs> We're going there. <laughs> and Fisa is the bomb just saying. I agree, Kayla. And Fisa is awesome. We just bought a tractor, so I'm back in the biz and for resell some crap. <laughs> there you go. We stop. All right. <laughs> All right. I have a couple of names to run by you, okay? And you just tell me what your thoughts are on these people. All right. Um, Cam Newton. <laughs> No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? What, what about uh, Bo Jackson? Bo Jackson. Man, you ever played Tech Mobile? <laughs> Did you ever play Tech Mobile on Nintendo? <laughs> Tech Mobile on Nintendo. Yeah, Bo Jackson was the man. Bo Jackson, uh, actually. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I, I want to know now. <laughs> Yeah. Bo Jackson, amazing. Uh, hard to touch him. One of the best running backs. I love What is him. that? I've got a Bo Jackson jersey, actually. He was he went to Auburn. I'm not a big Auburn fan, but I am a Bo Jackson fan. What about Trey Mason? Who was that? Who was that? The running back for Auburn. Think he returned that kick when they beat you guys? 
I, I don't know who that is. <laughs> if you have any questions about Alabama. Now, wait a minute. What do you know about Trey Mason? <laughs> I just Googled best Auburn players of all time. I'm just reading off the list. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting through Calic Williams, Carlos Rogers, Ronnie Brown, Takeo Spikes, but you, I couldn't get them. <laughs> uh uh, Cadillac was a good man, good running back. We go to a lot of Auburn games. I'm I'm not a Auburn fan, per se, but I enjoy football. I'm not like just a total hater. I- <laughs> 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 is, that a, is that a towel? I don't know. What, what is that? It's a blanket. It's a blanket. It's- you want one? <laughs> <laughs> what, you have it for sale? <laughs> no. I- I've never seen that. Where did that come from? <laughs> who put the? Who gave you that? I feel like this was just made for a show. <laughs> Amanda must be watching. She did that. Mm, man, that's a good. <laughs> that's a good looking blanket, though. You think? You know. Maybe if I do that. Oh man, that's <laughs> so so. Funny. Oh, poor Jesus. <laughs> Seen Bobby, your son put you a blast. It's cool though. I, I refuse to believe you had nothing to do with all these things being made in your honor. <laughs> I, I, I had no clue. I... You don't remember on Father's Day? I wore that as a cape. You did wear that as a cape. He wore that no, as a no, cape. Super Superhero, Superhero Day. Sunday. He wore that as a cape. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. But, but anyway, what is OD? What does that stand for? I always wonder. Overdose. Maybe, no, it stands for. Uh, Opelika dogs, dog, uh, dogs, right? It was a O oh, dogs. It was a baseball team that he was on. Oh, uh, okay. It. I like the fit of this hat. If I, you know, I just I like how it feels, so I wear it a lot. The first time I saw, it, I thought I was standing for like like San Diego Padres because of the O's and S. And yeah. I'm like is John from San Diego. He just lives in Alabama. But nope, it's Oka no. Oka Bloka. Opelika. Oka Blaka. O. Come on, say it with me here. Opa. 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 Laika. That's what they say. Opa Laika. Opa Laika. There you go. Is that like the most popular city in Alabama? Opa Laika? Of course not. (laughs) (laughs) It's a great little town, though. I mean, it's got, we have all the stuff that we need. What? We like it. My wife and I like it. It's. It's a great place, we think, to raise kids and stuff. It's got the small town feel, but we have all of the. You know, our neighbors need it. Yeah, we have all the stuff that we need, all the shopping that we need. And then if we want to go to Atlanta, it's just an hour and a half north, you know. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. You're going to be moving to California pretty soon, then, right? Like yeah. Years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> John, man, no, he's not single. He's happy. Oh, are you guys talking about John? <laughs> what? People are wondering if you're, if you're single or something in chat. <laughs> oh, no. I've been married for 21 years. Now, happily? Yes, yes. Uh, I started dating my wife when she was 15 years old. We, we were, uh, wow. Cool. So we now, grew- now, has Amanda been happily married for 21 years? Uh, that's a good question. That's uh, something. <laughs> that's Maybe her. this blanket will explain. Hey, if she made a blanket of me, bro. Come on. I, I, I feel like you're like a lead singer of, of a Christian band with that blanket. But we should sing it for like Casting Crowns. That's, that's the blanket vibes I'm getting with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm happily married. Been married, yeah, like I said, 21 years. We've been together for 26 years. Yeah. So, so how many other things in the house have your face on it, John? Uh, I really want to know. Uh, there's like two more pairs of socks. Um, is that it? I don't know. Oh, you have pictures too, so that's a lot. Oh, they have a fat of me too. Oh yeah. Oh, you have a fat head? Yeah. Yeah, it's like. Can, can we bring that in? Poss- is it possible? It's not or here. It? <laughs> ah, that would have been great. That would have been a great finale. A fat head of John. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's unfortunate, but that would have been great. <laughs> All right, so Eli, when you go to Stanford, are you gonna start your own channel there? What, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm not sure. 
<laughs> back of a bit of checker video bond blanket. Yo, John, uh, John, do you know who Backer Bitter Chuck is? Who, who, who what now? Backer Bitter Chuck. Ah. Uh, Never heard of him? Man. No, I, I thought you were slurring for a second, but I... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, I, I, I've i never met him before. Um, he's, a, he's, like a, he's a funny, funny reseller from Wisconsin. They have their own show called the, the Two Beardos. Figured you'd be a fun guest in that one. They would ask hey, you some serious questions. I'll, I'll, check, I'll check him out, man. Uh, I'd love to see that. It's his face on the toilet paper. <laughs> now, you know what? That's just all for. What? what? Yeah, if my face was on toilet paper. So you could... <laughs> I'm trying to make a dollar bill. A dollar bill with me? Uh, Cheryl yeah. said, "His uh, your wife obviously loves you. She puts your face in everything. I'd love to see her tattoos. <laughs> No, you wouldn't. That's <laughs> God, Preston cannot move. Yeah, she's great. You'll, she's on the channel. If if you haven't seen her before, she does come on. She um, yep. hangs out with me, and and we have a good time. Um, uh, I, I like that flea market video. You guys are all there together. That was, that was pretty cool. But uh, which when one? you guys are actually selling the one you guys are actually selling at. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, there was one where we were. Did you see the one where we were singing together in the band? Yeah, terrible, uh, terrible voices by some of them. I tried to tell, <laughs> life. but yeah, we have a good time, man. Uh, don't give them any ideas, man. Please, <laughs> hey, who sold the uh, Pokemon cards at the that was a new Eli, right? That was your that was the other son, right? Yeah, that was Ari. Is he not yeah. here? No, he said he's gonna be here like seven. He went to go get his stuff at Dog Mall. Has he forgot? Get what done? He went to go get some some of his toys at my my parents' house. He got oh. off work at five, and I was wondering where he was at. Roman said, "Your wife would probably kill you after this live." <laughs> so, uh, I feel like John did nothing, said nothing about wrong about Amanda. I feel like I have not. I am I am perfectly fine. And Mel said she's looking forward to checking out your channel. Well, look at that. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. Are you, I'll, are you, I'll, I'll are you sub to Mel? I'm not. I'll, I'll, everybody who subbed and stuff, I'll go back on and and, uh, and make sure that I'm following and yeah. subbing you guys too. Mel is from Australia, as I mentioned before. Right. She right. probably has one of like, the biggest Australian channels that I know. Really? She's like almost at 10,000 subs right now. Yeah, she's killing it. Australian royalty in the house. All right. Hey. Yeah. And uh, it's really hard for like Australian channels to like break through to the USA because they don't really get recommended in their videos. But I found her somehow, and she's I, awesome. I, I subbed to an Australian channel too. Uh, he reached out. What is his name? Um, Video game, right? Yeah, uh, he's he's pretty good too. Up and coming guy. I, I forget his name though. Hello, Iris. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, love you too, Mel. <laughs> no, it's great. She's gonna be on my show. In August, which is okay. really hard for us to figure out because there's a 14-hour time difference. So just think about that. So my show is going to be <laughs> 5 p.m. Wait, are you, you guys are Central, right? You're not, you're not Eastern, right? I have hard enough time with that, so I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. so it's going to be 5 p.m. here. It's going to be 7 a.m. next day where she is. Yeah. So that's that's going to be the show. Should when we go to Korea – that's the way it is there. I'll leave on a uh, Saturday, fly for 14, 15 hours, and arrive on Saturday here. And it's wow. great. You lose a whole day. Yeah. Yep, yeah, Irish specifically. Um, it's crazy how there's so many different time zones watching this right now. Watching, yeah. watching you and Eli with your face on the shirt right now. Everybody yeah. around the world watching this, John. I know. Isn't that crazy, though? <laughs> Power of YouTube, baby. Yeah, awesome. and I didn't know almost anybody a year ago. <laughs> that's that's the other crazy part. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you meet so many um, neat people. Uh, as far as I say, meeting them but getting to know them, I would have loved to have gone up to the. Um, oh yeah, I would have loved to have gone up to Cincinnati. That just didn't work out. You kind of dissed me that day. You uh, but and went up there. You know. Didn't invite me or anything. He just said, "Hey, I'm not going to do this uh, channel with you today. I got something else." Yeah. 
That's a, that's a, that's a John important for me, John. Yeah, that's the way I Wait a month. That Wait was a month. Gray hair, but that's cool. <laughs> Pretty sure there's more than that. But it is. Yeah, it is I like, all waiting for me that's how we do. Yeah, yeah. If you guys like to follow Shed Progress, Mel, Mel on Instagram is showing she's building a shed in her backyard for all her uh, eBay stuff. So it's pretty cool. I need to do that as well. Yeah. And it's fun to see how eBay works in other countries. On my other show, I had John Francois from Canada talking about how eBay is different in Canada. Yeah. So probably eBay in, in Australia is probably way different than we have it here. Well, I'm just starting to get back into eBay. I've, I've been solely on Macari for. Uh, over a year, and I'm, I'm just getting back on eBay. We should do Southern meetups. There you go. Guys I'm, can do an Alabama meetup. Yeah, we'd love to. Meet up at the Sock Factory. We'll meet up yeah. there at that flea market, and we have a good time. That's right. All right John, you survived an hour. It's been an I, hour. You survived. And uh, uh, Any final words you have to the 30 people that are still watching? I uh, just appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And, and and if you come watch our channel, you'll see that we do believe in family. We believe in just, you know, having a good time doing this. Um, enjoy life, man. Enjoy your family. Spend time with them. You uh, you, you, your last video is called Amanda and Me. Oh, so cute. Yeah, Amanda and Me. She actually went out. Uh, Eli was out of town. They're actually leaving me. I'm going to be here by myself next week. They're going to Florida oh, without me. How old are you? None of your business. I'm gonna I'm gonna fly down and see you for a couple of days, okay? Let's do keep it. Going. Let's do it. <laughs> I Eli, John, thanks a lot for coming by. Appreciate you Thank guys you. being here. I appreciate you guys. You. The link is down below. If you guys are watching later, appreciate you guys because yeah. I get about like a hundred people to always watch after the show comes out. So people who are watching later, appreciate you guys being here. Make sure you guys are sub to John and Eli down below. Banana picking and grinning. Very awesome channel. Very underrated. Let's get them to a million subs by next month. <laughs> thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. You're uh, the first. Uh, thanks for believing in me. <laughs> I'm the first, but I won't be the last. Uh, hopefully some people see you and then bring on the show as well. I uh, hope you guys have a great Saturday. Go list something. Do some work. Yeah, I don't know what you're going to do. Go go, go uh, buy a shirt with John's face on it. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough of those in the world. <laughs> you should start selling those. <laughs> you should start selling those those, those blankets. <laughs> yeah, it could be like a subscriber giveaway. Yeah. There you go. I I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. See you.